uh, was supposed to be representative and democratic and upholding the values of Virginia, that which we have on our seal, anti-tyrannical. When you, when you decide to do this, uh, you're taking a risk. The president might come after you, which he did. I'm going to show that in a moment. Before I show that, uh, did you factor that in? Did you think that you could achieve something uh, by <sighs> going at him directly? And, and we talk about civil rights. Uh, we all know there's a rich history of direct action in this country, of the idea uh, that sometimes doing things in the same room or in front of the building or in front of the protest is different and more powerful than, than wherever else we may say them. Could you, could you give us some of your thinking about that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, uh, something that sticks in my head is uh, uh, some of my mentors would tell me for every, uh, for Martin Luther King, for one Martin Luther King, there was a hundred Martin Luther Kings that came before him uh, that struggled, that, that failed. And uh, look, I, I, uh, I worked hard in my own life. My parents have sacrificed a lot. Uh, my family has sacrificed in the face of poor immigration uh, policies. My father, in particular, a victim of uh, poor immigration policies of the United States, is federal government. Uh, look, the, the, the risk is, is unbearable to think of what would happen if we uh, uh, allow Trump to just come and energize uh, his base here in Virginia when we have an election in 2019. Hmm. Uh, we're looking to win. We're looking to flip the legislators. In America, we are not ruled from afar. Americans govern ourselves. And so help us, God, we always will. Right here in Virginia, your predecessors Thank you very much. Thank you. Right here in Virginia, your predecessor.